Hey guys, it's Chelsea Messenger with Picks and Parlays. We're talking college hoops, headed, uh, heading out west to the Pac-12, where Oregon is facing Colorado. It's Wild Card Weekend in the NFL, and we've got a special promo code. The code is WILD for 20% off the entire site at picksandparlays.net. Colorado minus two. The total is 140 and a half. Oregon enters eight and one on the year, uh, five and four against the spread, while Colorado is seven and three and six and four against the number. I think the key stat in this one though, Oregon has not won in any of their last seven trips, I believe, to Colorado. So a big matchup for Oregon to try to get that um, Buffalo off their back, I suppose. We've got Dan Kaiser joining us to talk this one. Dan, what stands out to you when you see these two teams matching up on paper? Well, my first thought is who watches, who stays up and watches Pac-12 basketball. It's kind of like Pac-12 football. Okay, so I look at this game, Oregon in this game. They, they lost the, they lost their opening game of the, of the season to Missouri, and they've come back and won uh, eight straight. They're 3-0 in the conference. They're playing some really good basketball. They thought it might be a little bit down year for them this year. They lost their leading score from last year, but their second leading score, Chris Duarte, has, has picked it up this year. They're coming off a way to get Stanford. As a team, they're putting up 77 points a game. And, they're, and defensively, they're only giving up 63. They're facing a Colorado team that's 1-2 and two in conference play this, this season. They're coming off a, a, a three-point loss to UCLA. They're putting up 75 points a game, and they're giving, only allowing 61. I'm, I'm looking at this game. I know uh, Oregon hasn't won against this team in, in, in Colorado, but I'm, I'm, taking, I'm taking the points in this one. I'm taking Oregon in the points. I just think they're playing a little bit better right now than uh, Colorado. And they're, they're uh, you know, they, they've got three seniors and a junior starting for them. I just think uh, right now they're just a little bit better team. So I'm, I'm going to take the points in this one. Yeah, and it looks like Oregon's been pretty solid defensively, allowing just 56 points, 69, 41, and 64 over the last four. Now, granted, some of those teams uh, not the best, but still it's impressive when you can keep uh, teams to a low margin like that. Well, is there any other trends or things you think that better should know before betting on this game? Because uh, as we were talking about in some of these other videos, we've seen just hours before some of these games that players will be listed out with COVID stuff uh, and just that's something to look out for. Uh, anything else you think uh, when betting on college basketball? Yeah I, and, and yeah I, I guess one thing I, I've, I've been paying a, a little more attention to is looking at like who's the better free throw shooting team because a lot of these a lot of these games are coming right down I mean, not yeah. so much for, not so much for the win, but for uh, for uh, the spread purposes totals. And, and totals. Yeah, because I mean, I lost I've lost a couple of games, I've lost a couple of pushes on a missed free throw in the last seconds this past week. So yeah, I, you got to look at free throw shooting because you don't want to you don't want to be put your money on a team that's only shooting sixty percent from the, from the free throw line because that that can uh, be cause a lot of stomach problems if you, <laughs> as as the, as as the weeks go on. Yeah, I think that's the number one reason why I don't like betting on college basketball sometimes because uh, yelling at the TV while hoping a 19-year-old makes a free throw is not a great feeling sometimes. Especially when they miss. That's going to do it for college hoops talk here on Picks and Parlays. As always, great stuff from Dan Kaiser. Dan, thanks for joining us.